a tutorial on using layer mask to selectively colorize an image. I think this is this is a cool tutorial. This is such a cool effect. All right, I've got GIMP open. So let's go ahead and open up the image that we're going to be working with here. Okay, so we've got our image open. Okay, so what does a layer mask do? A layer mask, a layer mask lets you select what portions of a layer you want to be completely opaque, meaning you can't see through it, there's no transparency, and selecting the portion of a layer that you want to be transparent. And so we're gonna select white, the color white, as our opacity color. So when we create our layer mask, we will select white as full opacity. And the inverse of that is black. And whatever that we color with black in our layer mask layer is going to be transparent. And that allows us to selectively remove part of an image so you can see the layer that's below it. All right, the best example I could think of that would be like, I think everybody's familiar with lottery scratch-off tickets where it's got this little opaque coating on it and you use a coin to scratch off that opaque layer and you can see what's below it. Well, a layer mask works similar to that. So we've got our colorized image up right now and what we also want is to create a grayscale version of it. So I'm going to go to my layers dialog here and I'm going to come down to where it says duplicate. This it looks like two little monitors here. Create a duplicate layer of and add it to the image. So I'm going to duplicate this layer. Okay, so now I have two versions of it. We want our colorized version to be on the bottom because that's what we want to expose. So I'm going to select the top layer and I'm going to right click over here and I'm going to go into colors and I'm going to go into desaturate and then select desaturate in the sub menu and when I do that now we have a grayscale version of our image all right and this is the layer that we want to create the mask for so I'm going to right click over here and I'm going to select add layer mask and then I'm going to select white for full opacity. And then I'm going to add it. And you'll notice here that you've got this white rectangle that's the same size as the layer. So right now, everything in this top layer is opaque. There's nothing that's transparent. You can't see below it. Our, our um, transparent color is going to be black. And as you can see right now, white is my foreground color, black is my background color. Well, I need black to be my foreground color so I can so I can paint the areas of the of this top layer grayscale image to to um, reveal the color image below it. So I'm gonna select this little arrow here and reverse those. So now that black is my foreground color and white is my background color. Now I'm gonna zoom in here on this image. If you have a if you have a really um, if you have a really steady hand you could probably do this with just the just using the the paintbrush but I don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make I'm going to use my free select and I'm going to select the area that I'm going to color to make transparent so you can see that portion of the image below it the color version. And that way, whatever I have selected, when I start to use my paintbrush, the only area it's going to affect in this layer is the area that I have selected. So I'm going to make this real quick in selecting this portion of the image. So it's not going to be perfect, but it will look pretty good. And it will give you guys an idea of what it would look like if you spend a little more time on it. You know what I mean? I'm just going to grab his hand here. So bear with me. Bear with me. This won't take all that long. All 
and as you can see I'm just selecting I'm selecting the little boy here in the picture because he is the part of the image that I want to colorize and I want to leave all the rest of it gray and I'll show you how you can go back in and adjust some of the pixels at the top you know where the hair is like I said I'm just doing this quick and dirty so that you can get an idea of what this is going to look like for doing selective colorization of a layer oh he's got a wild hair here let's see if we can grab that <laughs> all right we're getting closer we're getting closer and I'm just scrolling it you know after I zoomed in on it whenever I run out of real estate here for my selection I just use my scroll wheel to bring it up need to slide this over a little bit I said I think this uh, I think this effect is so cool I think you guys are going to enjoy doing this with a photo of your own okay so now we're at the bottom I go over here get this portion selected I'm basically trying to Almost like, you know, like I was cut, cutting him out of the scene, right? Just like in a previous video where I showed you how to use the free select to, to cut um, something out. Okay, so we've got him selected here. All right, so now I'm going to go up and I'm going to select a paintbrush. And I'm going to go over to my tool options here, and I've got... A hard brush selected and I've got the black color selected so now watch what happens when I start coloring this portion of the image black and let's make the uh, size a little bit bigger on the brush there we go alright so now as you could see as I color him and the only portion that's being affected is the portion that I have selected and what I'm basically doing is erasing him from this layer so that you can see his color version in the layer below it. Is that like magic or is that like magic? I absolutely love that. And as you can see, the only portion that's being affected is the portion that I have selected. Okay, so I'm going to deselect everything shift control a will deselect everything and as you can see right here where his hair is it's it's revealing a little bit of red from this guy that's standing in front of him so if i switch this back to white since white is my opacity color to remove that part of the transparency i go back to my brush and if i just select those red pixels to remove those from the image and now we'll scale it back out now doesn't that look so much better so oh I accidentally got her boots in there so let me go back and um, grab my brush again white brush and let's turn that back to gray I don't know how I did that okay so now I have a selective colorization of this grayscale image by using a layer mask to remove just the portion that I wanted to remove. Like I said, if you've got a steady hand, 
you won't have to go through the selection process like I did. But that is the easiest way for me to do it. And so now we have a, a selective colorized image of our little man here in the picture. And I think that is an awesome, awesome effect. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, that's a wrap on this episode. We will do more tutorials in the future on additional things that you can do with layer mask and quick mask. But I just thought that was such a cool effect. I wanted to show you this one right away. All right. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next episode.